fellow news, the old japper again, Sunday. And today we're going to talk about entertainment, or entertainment value, perhaps. Uh, I'm starting off with the uh, title, Horror Fun, question mark. Because, to me, an entertainment is something that makes me feel good. And there is not much in horror movies, or horror, horror games, or or splatter movies or something like that, that is really fun. But on the other hand, there must be something that people enjoy when they're trying to be scared. Because that's what it is. They want to be scared, and that is an emotion they like. And perhaps I could use that. Perhaps I should have that some something more. But to me, it's always been like, blah. I don't like it, I don't want to be scared, I don't have the stress threshold high enough to to cope with it, and uh, perhaps I did have some uh, nightmares when I was younger. But on the other hand, (laughs) there are stuff that's really not really that horrorful, like Frankenstein's monster, the uh, monster of the Black Lagoon. I really enjoyed those ones. Those monster movies are more fun than entertainment. And today, of course, we watch them as something else. However, let's take something that not everyone has seen. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I have tried to see that one once. And uh, I think I coped like... Eight ten minutes, and then I said, "No, this is way too awful for me. Um, I don't want to start to throw up when I'm watching a movie, even if it was a video, even if it was at home at my own uh, place. But no, I don't like that, and I don't see it as entertainment either. And there was during a." a some some time during the 70s and 80s that these things were very much like that. But not nowadays. You don't see much Texas Chainsaw Massacres nowadays, and you don't see much cannibal uh, movies either. I couldn't really fathom what that was all about. So, why are they trying to scare us? Um... I haven't seen many movies, and I haven't watched many games being played, and I don't play them myself. One kind of uh, games, computer games, uh, is the zombie games. Besides Minecraft, (laughs) I don't really regard that as a zombie game, but besides that, I haven't played any of the Walking Dead or rice something and uh, as you can see I'm not really sure about them. Uh, but why are people so they really love them don't they we had once I think it was during the 70s a movie called A Clockwork Orange that was really a horror movie because it was a psychological movie um Do we really, are we really able to bend the mind of a young person who is a bit criminal or just violent? Can we really do that? Now, that's the horror, but is it entertainment? Hmm. Well, anything that makes my little brain cell work is entertainment for me, even if it's just laughing or thinking. But I really did. Like that. So, is horror movies fun? No. Is psychological thrillers fun? Well, there are entertainment, absolutely. Um, but mostly I look at action movies because that's totally brain dead, and comedies, and science fiction, of course. Um, then we have some movies that have violence in them. Now, violence and horror are not the same thing, depending on how it's depicted, of course. The more splatter you have, the more horror you get. The less splatter you get, 
the more violence you can get away with. I don't know if this is totally true, or if it's really something that people think of, or perhaps the movie makers think of, but there are some sort of balance where I am. Where do I put myself on this one? And the hard thing is, I can never pick a movie and know that it is my type of entertainment. And that means that I more or less miss out on many good movies, perhaps even many good um, games as well. And then let it be so, because there are a lot of them to be watched at anyway. Well, is there anyone who remember Fritz the Cat? Thanks for listening. Bye.